Uh, I created the, the first idea of the light swing in 2004 and uh, then I saw this photo of a highway taking, uh, taken with the long shutting time of the camera and it made these red stripes all over the picture. We are living in really strange times for the moment and uh, uh, in Sweden every year and all the uh, Nordic countries of course have this dark period during December and it's many things that lights up in this period. For example the Nobel award is something that we're looking forward for and uh, I think that this year it's especially need of joy, light, uh, so I think this is really illustrating what uh, the need for now to, to be able to have some fun like a kid swing back and forth and also see it with light. <laughs> Yeah. But it's fire yeah. behind it, so... It's cool, yeah. What fire? Oh, Originally our idea was to create a light festival because it's so dark here in the winter and it's a perfect, perfect place to have it. Uh, this year was incredibly special because of Corona and the Nobel uh, banquet being cancelled. Uh, so we figured it was a perfect opportunity to highlight a public art installations, celebrate the Nobel Prize, innovation, art, culture, um, a creative way to explore the city uh, together but apart. So for so, next year we're really excited uh, for what the future could bring because we don't know what it is but we're really hopeful. No. Yeah. More less. <laughs> <laughs> <Exactly. One day. laughs> All right. Um, so we're delighted to be collaborating with Stockholm Stad and the Nobel Prize Museum to be able to offer 16 installations throughout Stockholm that will be illuminated by artists and lighting designers um, and that will be connected to themes uh, that are within the Nobel Prize as well. So the artworks are actually inspired by the Nobel Prize itself. There is an uh, ongoing exhibition in the museum uh, this year. It's about um, creations of uh, Per Engheden uh, and his uh, uh, dresses made for Sarah Danius, uh, who was uh, always involved in the Nobel Prize ceremonies, coming in these beautiful, amazing creations. And Sarah Danius as a very uh, interesting personality and a great character is also one inspiration for me to make this light work. The next one is uh, the same story but with added yeah. this other layer of red lines. This, uh, this year has been very special and very hard for I think most of us uh, and I'm really happy that uh, for this possibility to make uh, artwork that is uh, outdoor, that is possible to give a special, something nice, something positive to the people uh, in this time when museums are closed. Because I uh, ah, I know what uh, I am going to find this. No. Maybe we should take a little bit longer for the big ones because there's something in the background. Yeah. Okay, but we'll change that later. 